Hey folks, Mike Langensmith, All Seasons RV. Uh, today I'm going to be featuring the 2021 Nomad Stealth 22FK. Now this is a front kitchen, 22 foot with a 17 foot garage. What makes this so special, not only can you put four wheelers, dirt bikes, ATVs in the back of this, uh, side by sides. This is also like a car hauler as well. So if you go to those races or you, uh, you're into off-roading with a Jeep, you can actually fit a Corvette, a hot rod, or even some uh, really nice laid out Jeeps inside this toy hauler area. And they make all different sizes. So this being a 22 front kitchen, they also make um, all the way up to a 25 foot garage, which is about a 30 foot camper in itself. Now with that being said, Anytime you bump up size range in the stealths, you're also getting a bigger axle rating. So um, from the 18 to 22 footers, you're getting about a 52, well not about, you are getting a 5200 uh, axle uh, per axle. Uh, from a 24 to 26, you're getting a 6,000 uh, pound axle each. And then from your uh, 28 to 30s, you're getting a 7,000 pound axle each. So again, getting bigger in size in your toy hauler, you're getting a bigger axle rating so you can actually carry more cargo inside. Uh, a little bit about construction on the Nomads as well. So it's all um, full six-sided welded aluminum, or you can get the heavy-duty steel. How we're optioning most of ours is in the aluminum, and then on the, so that's 16 on center on your side walls and 16 on center on your floors. On your roof, it is a 24 inch on center. And then it's a one piece seamless uh, aluminum piece roof all the way up top. So hopefully as long as you keep up on maintenance, you're never gonna have a leak issue. Uh, maintenance wise on the roof, anywhere they put a cutout up there for your AC vent, um, anything like that, they are gonna glob caulking around there. Just check that once a year, make sure that's not dry rotting anything like that. Um, if it is, go ahead, scrape, reseal, and then you should be good to go. Um, so kind of moving towards throughout the uh, Nomad itself, you do have outside TV hookups out here with 110 and cable outlets. Nice part about the 110, if you're not using it for your TV, say you have an outside griddle or a low cooktop or even a coffee pot, you can actually hook it in outside. You don't always have to have all that cooking material or coffee pot inside. Uh, newer feature, they are putting the nice lippered sturdy steps on here. Uh, real easy to actually flip right into this into the door itself. It will lock in place. Um, big benefit to this, without jacks being down, you can actually come in and out of here without the entire coach uh, rocking back and forth. Um, RV style door with an actual screen on it, so you can close this off, prevent bugs from actually coming into the unit, and then you, you do have a, uh, a fully enclosed uh, camper in itself. Uh, does have a six gallon gas electric DSI direct spark ignition hot water heater down below right here. Um, and then moving more towards the front, this is a V nose. All of their stealths are V nose. Really helps with aerodynamic towing this down the road. Um, you do have a storage compartment right up front right here. Um, battery box goes down below, and then behind this wooden plywood right here is your 43 gallon freshwater holding tank. Uh, you can actually just this down if you wanted to actually use it as cargo space there is 110 outlet in there and a nice light up top so you can see what you're doing early in the morning or late at night uh, this model will come with two uh, 20 pound propane tanks full we will include the battery as well uh, power tongue jack up front really nice and convenient and easy to take it on and off your vehicle uh, does have a led light up front so if you're hitching up late at night or early in the morning you can actually see what you're doing um, this is pre-wired for solar panels up front. Um, again, more portable than putting it on the roof. Never know where you're gonna be. You can actually put that solar panel in the sun. Uh, so if you're parked under a tree, you can actually get to the sun for the solar panel. So in this little storage compartment here, this is where you would fill up your, either your freshwater holding tank if you're doing a lot of dry camping or boondocking, or if you're at a campground, you wanna bypass your holding tank, you can hook into city water connection here. It's direct feed of water coming in has hot and cold uh, spray nozzle for your outside shower. Uh, power cord, uh, 25 foot power cord will come with the unit. That is your main uh, 110 coming into the unit. And then you have your cable in on this side. 
So if you were at a campground or somebody somewhere that does offer cable, hook in the cable right here and then inside, uh, you'll actually get cable on your TV itself. Uh, a couple of ventilation uh, for uh, inside the garage area, which I'll show you once we go inside, but that's just a, uh, a ventilation um, kind of port. So we'll go towards the back of the unit. So the uh, ramp doors you see are on high tension cable uh, springs, so it's very easy to put this up and down. Uh, this door right here will handle 4,000 pounds. Again, it's a 17 foot garage area. We do have the E-Track system in the floor already that's recessed in, so it's not sticking out. You're not gonna trip over that. Um, this door is uh, 94 by 80.5 inches. <laughs> uh, total width in here is 90, six inches wide, but in between the wheel wells there, it's 82 inches. And that's gonna vary just a little bit depending on the actual size you get. I know that uh, the bigger you go, I think the next two biggest steps up, the 28 and the 30, I believe, in between the wheel wells is only 80 inches, not 82. So definitely check with one of us dealers about the uh, actual dimensions of the camper if you're, or the uh, toy hauler space if you're really worried about that. There are four D rings in here. You have two in the back and then two all the way up front as well. This has the power, oh, before we get to the bed, let's get to the screen. This has a uh, full screen that locks down in place. Uh, prevent, again, prevent any type of bugs coming in and out of the unit itself. The screen easily pushes up. Now to the power bed. Power bed system. Uh, it's a 12-volt system, so you don't always have to be plugged in on the side. Your battery can definitely handle this. It's a press of a button or a holding down of a button. It's a true clean bed, so it's 60 by 84. It's not 60 by 80. It's not 60 by 74 like an RV queen would be. So again, it's a true queen bed. And Scott, I'm going to lock you out over here, man. You might have to tuck under. But this is a teddy bear mattress uh, up top, so it's very comfortable. feels very nice. Put sheets on it if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. We do have an extra ventilation uh, up top right there. Indoor speakers, uh, one back here, one all the way up front. Let me raise this all the way back up. Mm -hmm. All right, all LED lights inside and outside, so all your marker lights. Um, you do have a white LED strip lighting under your awning outside, which I didn't touch uh, at, but this 22 FK does have a 15 foot awning, power awning, hold a button, comes out eight feet. You have a nice LED white strip uh, light under that awning to really uh, light up your exterior, which we can show you that at the end as well. Uh, two jackknife sofas here. So this will actually make into a bed as well, or it will go all the way up against the wall and uh, you know give you an actual cargo area garage space in here. You have the nice roll down blackout screens. Let's see this. Right down, show you what they're all about. Never been uh, taken down before. And they just snap in with buttons on the bottom. Uh, again, to give you that, that blackout. Um, so nobody can see in, basically. Uh, our models will come with the nice Roku TV. Uh, so as long as you have open Wi-Fi, I mean, you can connect to Roku. As long as you have a, a, you know, a solid internet connection, stream some movies or, or what have you there. Your 20,000 BTU furnace is right up top. Our units, this is a vent up top, but our units will be outfitted with an AC unit. So we are actually gonna be dropping an AC in this unit as well. And that's gonna be included on our price, which is on our website. Um, we will include the fire extinguisher. It has a smoke detector. All your safety uh, equipment that you're gonna need or want in a camper, uh, it's gonna have it. Suburban, you have your Suburban thermostat here, which will control your heat. Uh, some light switches here for all your LED lights inside. Now we get to the nice uh, camper part about this, the front kitchen. So you have a nice glass top over your uh, two burner cooktop. So while you're not cooking, it acts as nice counter space here. Big bowl stainless steel sink, really deep pull down residential spray nozzle as well. Uh, some storage compartment up top which I, I absolutely love these uh, latches for the storage compartment. Uh, our normal RVs uh, typically don't have something this sophisticated on them, so that's a very nice uh, uh, latch there. And then your three-way 
three-way refrigerator, so this can work off of AC, DC, or uh, propane if need be, depending where you're at and what you're doing. And then I'll let Scott get in there. In the bathroom, you have a full stand-up, full surround shower. You have a nice glass medicine cabinet as well. And I'll let you check that out. You have a vent all the way up above uh, with a nice ventilation fan in there. Uh, to get all the steam and the smells out of the bathroom. The uh, medicine or foot flush toilet, I guess we'll talk about that as well. Foot flush toilet right there, and then all the way up top is your medicine cabinet uh, with a bit of storage uh, behind it as well. Uh, a couple of hooks for towels, robes, you name it. Uh, we'll come with the spare tire as well, which uh, we just placed it right there. And it does, the rim actually matches all the other rims outside, so it's not just your a donut or something. Ventilation wise, again, I wanted to point on this when we were outside. So you have these little vents here while traveling. You can actually vent out all the gasoline fumes or whatever type of fumes might be in here, and you can close it. So there's one here, and there's actually one on the back side as well down here. So you get an actual like cross ventilation coming through here. Tons of 110 outlets throughout the unit. Um, Scott, I might as well have you come around the outside. I'll kick out that awning a little bit so they can see that as well. So again, just a press of a button, the awning comes out eight feet. Now I have a pole in the way, so it's not gonna go all the, the entire eight feet, but that's as easy as an awning is gonna be for you. And then again, the white LED strip lighting uh, underneath. So again, this is the 2021 Nomad Stealth 22FK 17-foot uh, garage. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or even visit our website. Our telephone number is 330-564-0222. Our website is www.asrvs.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy camping.